Well, at CES, many of the things that are on display are out in the halls, but today we've got an opportunity to go behind the scenes to LG Displays. Now, LG Displays is a separate company to LG Electronics. LG Electronics does business with LG Displays. That's where they source all their OLED panels. LG Displays also sources panels for Panasonic and Sony and other companies who want their OLED technology. But we got a chance to go behind the scenes today in a, in a room off the main floor to see some of the OLEDs of the future. One of the first displays we saw was set up like a first class seat on an aircraft and there were LG displays in several positions around the passenger, including the partition next to the passenger, which was actually a transparent OLED. So the message on the outside could change from do not disturb or uh, please come to see me or just be, become just a a, a, an opaque panel. But then inside the seat in the cabin area was a bendable OLED screen in front of the passenger. So when they're ready to enjoy the movie, to, for it to become a more immersive experience, the OLED panel is actually bendable. So a little switch beside the seat and that actually bends the panel so that you're getting this more immersive experience. It's a true first class experience on your next flight. Now OLED displays are not only all about what you can see, but sometimes about what you can hear. One of the, the panels inside this room had the ability for it to uh, emit sound. And not just in one or two areas, it was from multiple areas on the screen where rather than having separate speaker systems, the sound was coming directly from the screen itself. I put my hand close to the screen, even put my ear close to the screen, and I could feel the vibrations and hear the sound coming directly from the screen. Again, enhancing both the visual and audio aspects of the experience. Now, a lot of this new OLED technology involves transparent OLED displays, and that can be used in a number of settings, including a retail store. So imagine you're shopping for clothes. You may want to mix and match various outfits or ties or whatever it happens to go with the shirt you want to look at. So you can see the, uh, the object, the product, behind the transparent glass, but that transparent glass is still a touchscreen OLED that allows you then to make the selections, make the purchase. The same can be said for maybe a furniture store or maybe a store where you want to see what the colour paint will look like on your walls. So it allows you to choose the item of furniture, the colour of the wall using the transparent OLED and the screen behind that then allows you to see what that would look like in the room. Now there are several uses for OLED around the home. So we've seen there were some other commercial aspects actually where the OLED screen was used in an elevator. There was another long narrow screen used in a vending machine. But at home, similar applications apply. So you can have like a, a notice board at the front of the house, it's a touch screen. But there was also uses of the OLEDs, including the rollable OLED that LG unveiled here last year. They did have one configured in this room where it actually didn't roll up, it rolled down from the ceiling. So quite a dramatic effect. If you want to watch TV, this beautiful OLED screen descending down for you to watch in your home. But there's also a place for OLED in the car. And LG Display confirmed they have three car companies, one from the Europe, one from America, one from China, who have committed to having the LG Display P OLED. P is short for plastic. And what that allows the P OLED to do, that has the ability to be quite flexible and bendable. So you can imagine an entire dashboard made out, made out of P OLED so that your speedometer, your main display, even the side mirrors in the car were displays made from P OLED. So expect to see in the cars of the near future full OLED dashboards, screens and mirrors.